Welcome everyone to the Mindset Playground where you're going to get your daily dose of positivity. And I'm your host, Luann Hunt. And I'm so excited that you join me here today because I have an amazing guest. And this guest is a two-time author, well, soon to be two-time author. We're going to hear about that today. And we're going to hear a little bit more about what he's up to. Now, his name is Brian Proctor. And if you don't know Brian Proctor, you will after this podcast. So, Brian, welcome to the Mindset Playground again. Hello, Luann. Thank you very much for having me back. Well, I just enjoyed our last conversation so much. And your book, the first book, is amazing. How's it doing? It's doing really well. Um, yeah, my father knew the secret. It's, um, it is, it's, it's been a pleasant, I wouldn't say surprise, but it's been, uh, it's been doing really, really well. Thank you. Oh, that's great. And it is a great book. So if anybody hasn't picked it up yet, I would strongly suggest that you do that because it's a great read. It's very, uh, it's well laid out. There's wonderful pictures in it. Uh, there's some kind of a workbook that's kind of, intertwined into the book what is that right brian yeah yeah it's just I, you know i wanted to do it in such a way that uh you know somebody could could read it and actually figure out how to apply some of the lessons and some of the material into their life right away yeah and i love that and of course as we said in the first podcast i'm a huge fan of audiobooks and i love mm -hmm. I, I think i'm on hmm, maybe my 10th time <laughs> listening to the audiobook because I have an hour commute from my home to the college where mm -hmm. I teach. And so I listen to a chapter on the way there and a chapter on the way back. And I just find that it helps me. It just puts me in the right frame of mind to teach to my students, you know, just those ideas that pop mm -hmm. into your head and and there's so many great lessons and I think it's very valuable. So I, I, I will say that whole audible audio book uh, thing has been really eye opening for me. Um, yeah, it's been very, very well received. So this next book that's being released next week um, is actually going to be on audible as well. That's already been recorded and uh, and all set to go out. Oh, that's great. I'm excited to hear that, but it doesn't matter because I've already pre-ordered my copy. Now, do you have <laughs> your copy yet? Uh, you know what? I do not have a copy yet. Um, so I, I am also waiting. Obviously, I have, you know, Word documents and everything else that I worked it through, but uh, to have a hard copy in my hand yet, no, I do not. I bet you're looking forward to that day. I am. I am. <laughs> So I ordered it because it's on your website, which we'll put the information in this podcast, of course. And it's also going to be available on Amazon, but you can pre-order now, which is really, really exciting. So I must have been, was I one of the first? Was I one of the first, You were Brian? probably one of the first. We just announced it not that long ago. And, uh, you know, you replied right away. So you were definitely one of the first. Oh, good. I thought maybe, you know, I was behind the family and the relatives <laughs> and the neighbors and the drop-ins. <laughs> but that's exciting that I was one of the first. Now you know how much of a fan I am. But anyway, um, so tell us. Tell us about the book because I'm so excited to find out about it. Well, the new book is called 12 Easy Steps to Change Your Life. Um, Stop Waiting for That Big Thing. And um, it's it's really based on all the principles that I use in my life um, to live what I consider a really great life. Um, you know, I've, I've found, Luann, that most people are waiting for that big thing to happen for them. Uh, they want that big thing before everything changes in their life. And boy, if they just realized if you just took care of the little things um, every single day, that big thing will appear. And that's kind of what the book is about. And it's, it's talking about the, the 12 easy little things that you can do um, that will help create big change in your life. So what do you think of those 12 things, Brian? The, the number one thing is that people should consider. The number one thing, well, you know, that's an interesting question. Um, Luann, I think the number one thing is going to be different maybe for you than it would be for me. Um, and that's why there's there's all the different steps in there. Um, I, in my opinion, the number one thing is to be in the present moment. 
um, to be here right now. Um, that, that I, I think, you know, if, if I can share, I've got this hourglass. Do you want me to share that little story with you? Oh, yes, I'd love to. So this is something I've learned about when really when I was a, a, a young child, uh, my father would always have these in his seminars and was always talking about uh, the sand timer and, and how it relates to life. And we would, we would live so much better and accomplish so much more if we stayed in the present moment. The problem most of us have is, you know, when I look at a sand timer, the bottom of the glass is the, the sand that's already gone through, that's our past. And a lot of people are always focused on our past. Well, you cannot change the time we got out of bed this morning. What's happened in the past has happened in the past. We need to learn to let go of the past and start working on the right here, right now. Other people are focused on the future and they're just always thinking of what all has got to be done. And, and quite frankly, that can put you in overwhelm. Uh, if you look at everything that has to, has to be taken care of and done, you can go into overwhelm. But if we focus on the right here, right now, the sand that's running through the neck, we stay in the present moment and do what we can right here, right now, our life will change. Um, and that's, that's, that's the, the power of this hourglass. Um, is most of us are living either in the past or in the or, or in the future. And if we could get focused on what can we do right here, right now, be in the present moment, be engaged in the present moment, our life will change. Um, like right now, I'm engaged with you right here in this present moment. I'm not thinking about anything else I have to do today. I am here with you. And I think, gosh, if we could all live that way, our life will be a lot more enjoyable. Um, our moments will be more meaningful. And um, it, it, it makes a big difference in our life. Well, I have to agree with you there. And I'm sure that it would kind of solve a lot of like maybe mental health issues and, you know, not like the physical issues, the, the mental if issues, the emotional issues. Because mm -hmm. I'm the type of person that hangs on to something. Right. And, you know, I really have a hard time letting go sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's, I have to admit that that's some of the things that is one of the lessons in the last book that you did. And sometimes if I'm having a, a hard, you know, like a tough time mm -hmm. and I'm on my way to school, I'll listen to that chapter over and over, you know, the chapter about not worrying or, you know, like you said, let it go. And mm -hmm. it's such a great chapter. And I understand that when you explain it with the hourglass as well, that, yeah, it's, it's very helpful. Well, you know, you're, you're not alone. I think a lot of people do hang on to the past and they hang on to resentments and they're, 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 they're focused on what's been or what's happened. And, you know, whatever that is good and bad, um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we can't change it now. Um, but what we can do is be that best version of us right here, right now. And boy, if we can be engaged in the present moment, we can accomplish so much more. Um, it's, it's really that simple. It's when we're out of the present moment and we're thinking of the past or worried about the future, we get into overwhelm and then we do nothing. Um, you know, we, we kind of bury our head in the sand. And, and I think if we can just get zeroed in and what can I do right here, right now, that's what makes all the difference in the world. That sounds like a great chapter. So what are some of the others that we can look forward to? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, brave, B-R-A-V-E. So I have like a whole thing that I use that is for each letter mm -hmm. about being yourself, being accountable and act as if like, you know, like things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I use like words, five letter words for these five acronyms that I think are really important in your life. So believe it or not, you're on the right track as you and myself are on the right track when it comes to the five, your best five. So I look forward to, I really can't wait to uh, dive into this book. It's going to be exciting. So now you are also doing a um, online group or, or course, or how is that working? Yeah, so I've also got a, um, uh, along with my wife, Corey, uh, we have a 13-week program called Proctor's Principles. 
and um, uh, it's a it's an online coaching program um, mm-hmm. where there's 13 video lessons that you follow through, and we have live calls every week. Um, we open it up to the first group that is actually just coming to an end next week. Um, and it has been a spectacular journey. Uh, we ha- have had people from all over the world and we really get into how to be more effective, how to, what, what needs to be done to reach your dream. And, um, the live calls, honestly, Luann have been really something we do it, you know, over zoom. And uh, it's been um, it's been a fun journey. It's been great getting to know people all around the world, what they're going for, how they're doing it, um, what their dreams are and uh, getting the feedback now, because we are almost at the end of the first session, um, what people have been able to accomplish in just these short uh, which we're in 12 weeks right now uh, has really been uh, incredible. It's been fun to watch. Did you get a lot of feedback and are you going to make changes according to your feedback or what do you think? Yeah. So this first group that we had, uh, we had about 150 people um, and um, it was really interesting. And and we called it really our beta group um, that we're, you know, looking for feedback and we've gotten lots of great feedback. I actually don't think we're going to change much. Um, I think everybody really liked what they got, how it was delivered. Um, So it's been, it's been really, really, quite frankly, it's been fulfilling. It's been fun watching how people have, uh, have changed over these, uh, 12, 13 weeks. And, uh, everybody's been really happy with the program. So I think we, we, we spent a lot of time making sure that we built something out that was really valuable, um, that, uh, that people were really going to get what we were delivering, um, and really see how to make changes in their life. Well, <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to love one of the chapters. Um, if, if I can say, you don't mind me saying it's based on, on kind of the subject of what your next book is about. Um, and so one of the chapters is actually called the five things list. And oh, uh, my book, I thought you meant on your book. No, yours. Um, oh, let's talk about my book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, we were sharing a little bit beforehand about about your book, and uh, it made me chuckle because one of the um, one of the chapters in this new book is called the Five Things List, and it really relates to being in the present moment. And really, in its simple essence, is this: the night before or the day before, um, you you take a list and you write the five most important things you need to accomplish the next day, and you write it out. And you write out your number one most important thing right down to number five. Two things will happen when you do that. Number one, you're going to sleep a little better because you know what you're going to have to do the next day. It's, you know, you don't wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, I got to make sure I take care of this. You've got it written down. So it, it, it puts you at ease. You'll have a better sleep. You get up and you tackle that list and you start at number one and you don't go to number two until you're done number one. You might not get to number five. But I promise you this, you will be way more effective in your day if you deal with it like that. And and you work on what's the most important thing, your goal achieving activities that are going to get you to wherever it is that you're going. And um, that's that's kind of one of the chapters on the book as well. And it's uh, it certainly relates to what we were talking about before the interview here. Yes. Well, I think it's so important. I think, in my opinion, five is doable. Yes. You know, it's, it's doable. You can, you can think some of the exercises that I've had in the past are like write out 101 goals, like Mm -hmm. things like this. And Mm -hmm. they're great. Don't get me wrong. They're great exercises, but wow. When you get to about 80, (laughs) it's a stretch, you know? I I agree with you. I think, I think, you know, when you, when you have large numbers, that's when overwhelm can start to happen. And five really is, I consider a magical number. Um, and, uh, and is definitely doable. And, and I think if we get zeroed in on that, we can accomplish so much more in a day than we ever had previously. And if I can bring to your attention, there's so many words that are five letters. Uh, that was important to us. Um, I didn't want it just to be some other program. And uh, we've, you know, the feedback we've gotten is it has done just that. So it's been, it's been very, very good. That's great. And is it going to be 13 weeks again? in the new program? 
It is. So it's going to be 13 weeks again. Uh, what we are doing um, is that we are going to continue to offer this for the next little while anyway. Um, when, when somebody purchases into the program, um, they will get the 13 weeks. They will also get the following 13 weeks. So we are, we are allowing people to go through the program twice. Um, I think that has a little more impact. Uh, each week, you know, there's a lot to get through. And, um, and so I think by going through it a second time, I think you'll see things that you might not have seen the first time. Um, so that's something that we're doing that I think really adds some value to it. So that's, that's how we're going to work it. I like that because you're right. And when it comes to the books or anything that you're doing, I know that you are a huge fan of doing reading things over and over and making notes and, you know, and you're right. You see things the second time around. I hear things when I'm listening every day, when I'm driving back and forth, I hear something new and I say, oh, wow. I, I don't know why I missed that or how I missed it. You know, repetition is so important. Um, and that's, that's a big part of this why, why we built the program out this way. And, and the one thing that we are doing is we are giving everybody lifetime access to all of the lessons, all of the videos, all of the replays of our live calls, um, they will get it all for life. Um, so it's not something that you get the 13 weeks or 26 weeks and then you're done. Um, it will always be there for you. Um, we have a really kind of a cool app that we built around it. Uh, so you can get it right on your phone or on your computer. And um, it's um, it's important to both myself and Corey that, that everybody that invests in the program really gets the value out of it. Oh, that's wonderful. And then, of course, I'm sure there's going to be a group involved as well so that everybody on social media, so everybody can kind of go in and inter interact with each other. Yeah. So, yes, there is. Um, and that's part of the app that we built. So it's not an outside thing. You don't have to join another Facebook group or anything like that. Um, it's right within the app of the program. And there is a community there that uh, people share their wins. Uh, they can contact each other. Um, it's really been, um, it's been a lot of fun to watch how it's kind of unfolded. Is there going to be like some fun exercises as well, or? There's a lot of, it, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's different exercises. There's, uh, lots of different things to follow through. Um, we only open it up once every, I don't know, four or five months. Um, we don't, it's not a open-ended, uh, program. Uh, when we close it out, we close it out. Um, but yes, you can, you can get all the information at brianproctor.com. It'll all be uh, uh, for both the books and the program. And of course, you can download it on the app now so that you can check it out. There you go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so is when is the book coming out, Brian? So the new book, uh, 12 Easy Steps to Change Your Life, is coming out October 15th. Um, so uh, from the as of this recording in about a week. That's great. Are you excited? I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, it'll be fun to get a hard copy in my hand. And, uh, you know, the, the buzz around it has been really good already. Um, I know just the other day it was already ranking up Amazon. So it's, um, I, I, I think it's going to do very well. And, you know, kind of like the first book, um, I've really put my heart and soul into it. So, you know, I, I hope um, that, you know, a, a book is inexpensive and, I try to put everything I can into that book that you get all that you need to live a better life. Um, you know, I think we all get focused, as I said, on wanting that big thing to happen. And boy, little do we realize if we just take care of the little things, that'll, that'll take care of itself. You know, I've often said, Luann, that if we focused every single day and just took one little step each day towards whatever that dream is for us, just one little step, it doesn't even have to be a big deal. But if you did one little step every day, you know, in a year, you've done 365 little steps. That's got to add up to something big. And that's how big things happen. And I agree with you. That's so true. And uh, it just it just talks about, you know, us winning our goals or setting those goals, just writing down those goals, write them right. down. And because, man, if they're in your head, they're just floating around in there. And if you write them down and you see it, 
It's kind of like it's a shopping list. Going grocery shopping without the shopping list, right, Brian? You got to have a list, or else you, you got to know where you're going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you, you need to know where you're going. If you don't, uh, you're going to be like most people in this world, just living day by day. And uh, you know, if, if you want to experience quantum leaps in life, yes, you have to know where you're going. Right. Yeah. I tell my students that your brain is like a GPS. If uh, you program it and tell it what you want it to do, it will find a way to make it happen. That's right. So what's new as far as uh, with this new book that's coming out? What is some of the what are some of the new things that have happened to you since the last book? Well, it's been kind of exciting. So the you know the last book um, did very very well. Um, my father knew the secret, and uh, it's still doing well. Um, well, it did get the eyes of some publishers, and that's where um, a publisher reached out. And we negotiated a, a three book deal over the next three years, um, so that's where this first book is coming from, and um, uh, kind of some exciting stuff that's happening around it. It's uh, as I say, it's already ranking up on Amazon. Uh, Walmart is picking it up for all of their stores um, this year. Uh, I think December 1st, um, they have created a new section that's going to be the New Year, New You section, and they're going to feature the book there. So I think that's going to get some eyes on it. So there's there's a lot of good things happening. Um, you know, we're opening up our, our program again uh, this month. Um, so that's that's happening right now. Um, so that's, that's been kind of exciting. So we're, we're a little busy over here, but it's been, it's been a good busy. Before I go though, before I should say this, because I always ask all my guests and I know I asked you this last time, three golden nuggets to leave the audience with three golden nuggets, three golden nuggets. Um, well, the first nugget is what we talked about earlier. Uh, be in the present moment. Uh, my gosh, if every day, if you focus on being in the present moment, don't worry about what's happened. Don't worry about what's coming. What can you do right here, right now? That's certainly one of them. Um, another one is make sure you do something that brings you joy. Um, you know, so often we wait until we have that big thing before we can enjoy life. Um, you know, get out and do something that brings you joy today does a few things for you. It makes you feel better. Um, it honestly it can make you a bit more of an interesting person as well. And if it's something that brings you joy, it just makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you're going to accomplish more in life. Um, so that would be the, the second nugget. Um, if I'm to give you a third nugget, I would say uh, start to think about what you're grateful for. Uh, really zero in and focus. What are you grateful for? We all have things in our life that we can be grateful for. And if we start focusing on the good that's around us, we will see more good around us. And when we can do that, life gets better. So those are my three nuggets for you today, Louie. And I wish you all the luck because I know it's going to be amazing. Thanks and I can't wait to be a part of it, to be a part of the, the actual um, course, or I don't know what you want to call it, the community. And uh, I'm looking so forward to getting my copy of the book. So if you are watching this and it's after October the 15th, make sure you go to Amazon and order your copy of the book. It's called The 12 Steps. Is that correct? Yeah. 12 Easy Steps to Change Your Life. 12 um, Easy Steps to Change yeah. Your Life. Just go to Amazon and search Brian Proctor. It'll pop right up at the top for you. Yeah, for sure. And check out Brian's other book too while you're there because I got to tell you, it's worth it. <laughs> It's a great read. So, and it's worth it. And if you don't want to read it, that's okay. Listen to it because <laughs> it is amazing. So Brian, as always, thank you so much for stopping by the Mindset Playground. I know that we'll probably get together again and talk about the more exciting things that you have going on, but I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Luann. I appreciate you having me here. Mm -hmm.